Hey guys, Alex here. Today we're going to talk about is AI going to eliminate software engineers? Is the industry on a downward spiral because AI is just going to take everyone's job? Uh, the quick answer to that is no. If you want the longer answer to that, stay tuned for the video. So, no, AI is not going to take over. We've seen this scare before and I will get I will get into that deeper into the video. So BLS.gov, which is a government website, projects a 17% growth for software engineers over the next eight years. So a 17% growth, with it, which is huge. That is really huge for one uh, industry, for one specific position, 17% job growth. So no, AI is not going to take away software engineer jobs. Software engineers are going to use AI as a tool and you will adapt to that or you'll get left behind. You know, it's the same thing with Stacks Overflow. Basically, you use Stacks Overflow as a tool instead of, you know, not using it. People that didn't use it kind of got left behind. So you want to do anything you can to make yourself a better engineer. And sometimes things like Stacks Overflow and Google Search and, and AI do make you a better engineer. So I will walk you through an eight layer process that AI can't really do. And these are eight layers to software engineering. And let's get into those layers right now. You know, guys, I had a whole script prepared for this. I, I usually don't script my videos. I, I hate scripting YouTube videos. You know, 95% of YouTubers do script their videos, especially the ones with 100,000 plus subscribers. But the video came out way too like politically correct and boring. I just, I, I don't want to do it. I'm recording. I'm re-recording this whole video, basically. Look, I don't want to be politically correct. Is, are we going to get replaced? Are software engineers going to get replaced? Look, everyone thought software engineers, there's a big scare when Stacks Overflow came out. Did software engineers get replaced? No. Everybody started using Stacks Overflow. It became a new tool to your tool belt. AI is going to be the same thing, okay? According to a Stacks Overflow survey, Basically, 70% of software engineers are already using some form of AI, you know, probably a premium version to help them code. I think it's closer to probably 90%. I think a lot of software engineers, especially, you know, the younger generation, I think basically all of them are using AI to some degree. I use AI to help me code. Uh, almost everybody I know uses AI to help them code. Now, there's lots of things AI cannot do which is why you shouldn't worry if it's going to replace your job. But as I said, AI is going to be just like Stacks Overflow, where it's going to be a tool to your tool belt. And there shouldn't be all this fear. In the 1950s, everything was hand-coded in machine language or assembly language. Okay, And then compilers came, basically in the late 50s or so. And they were worried that that was automatic programming and they were going to be out of jobs. Same thing with AI. Here we are, 75, 80 years later. They thought they were going to be out of jobs and they were going to get replaced with automatic programming. Clouds and containers, for example, replaced racking servers and not architects themselves. If anything, it actually increased architects and engineers. Also, another survey done, 60% of software engineers reported improved mental health and job satisfaction since incorporating AI. And when job satisfaction increases, it draws even more people to the industry because everybody wants to enjoy their job. Now, if there's anything that it's going to replace AI, if it's if there's anything it's going to replace, it'll replace most of Stacks Overflow. Now, will Stacks Overflow get replaced completely? No, but it could replace 80% of Stacks Overflow to the point you only use like 20% of Stacks Overflow for more niche kind of things. Basically, you'll use AI for everything you always used Stacks Overflow for because it's much faster and quicker. And then the things that are AI cannot solve and AI cannot do, you would still use Google and Stacks Overflow for that. It's not the engineer that ever gets replaced. It is the method of information and the tool belt that gets replaced. Uh, for example, online forums, right? The bulletin and online forums, all of those were replaced after like 20, 25, 30 years. All of those were replaced with basically Discord, Reddit, and Facebook groups today. So you don't see many online forums out there. They're nowhere near as popular as they were 
as a community. Now, it's the same thing with a software engineer. The tool belt can get replaced. The tool belt can get upgraded. And think of AI as a massive upgrade on that tool belt to the point it can replace other sources of information such as Stacks Overflow to a certain degree. And let's talk about what AI can't do. So AI is amazing. AI helps us engineers every single day with our lives, uh, just professionally and personally, right? It helps us code. It helps us, you know, maybe even figure some personal things out as well. AI is amazing, okay? I love AI. I am an AI enthusiast, okay? So don't take this video the wrong way where I'm like bashing AI. I'm a full AI enthusiast. AI is good for code completion. It's good for code blocks. Uh, it can basically give you a boilerplate of maybe a new feature that you would really have to manually uh, do yourself. But overall, AI can do a lot of great things, but there's tons of things it can't do. Uh, for example, if you're working with a large code base, it's going to delete a lot of that code every time you make a new addition. It's like, hey, fix this or add this, then it's going to go ahead and delete a lot of the things because it can't handle all the information it currently has. So then you'll get back maybe less code than you had before, a lot less code, and you're wondering what the heck happened, right? So that's a big problem AI has. Another thing is just human interaction, right? So a software engineer usually meets with a customer, a product manager, basically to discuss the issue in depth. So you, you discuss the issue, you come up with the problem, you come up with the solution, you come up with a whole blueprint. The thing is AI can't do that. You know, perhaps in hundreds of years from now or sooner when AI is conscious and they could fully think like a human or even beyond a human, if that even happens, if that is even possible, then yes, maybe I'll be having a different discussion than I am in this video. But that is nowhere close to reality right now. And right now, AI cannot brainstorm like that on how to solve a problem. That requires collaboration with the customer, with the product manager, coming up with blueprint, and overall, you know, your, your budget, and all kinds of things that AI cannot assess properly. AI is also not exactly the greatest at brainstorming. If you ask AI to make you a website, it might come up with the very you know, uh, like boilerplate code, but it's not going to be anything fancy. It's not going to be anything extravagant. Where AI excels is where you take a block of code already and basically maybe you add some things to it or fix some things. Uh, basically, it can work well with one specific thing. For example, if you're working with one view in a website, like you're working on one page specifically, uh, and let's say there's hundreds of pages to this website. If you're working on one page specifically and you feed that page into the context window of the AI, then, then it's you can work with that somewhat and you can basically add things uh, and sharpen up the code and do other things as well. But overall, to it doesn't make things. AI can't really make things from scratch unless it's extremely basic. You can make very basic things from scratch, but you can't do a whole lot with it. So AI still has a long way to go, but as like a you know editing code adding some things on to pages adding some features on to uh anything like that like ai is great ai is fantastic i think ai is going to keep growing the only other two things i will add here is ai the the security of the code is not great basically it has been reported up to 50 percent of ai code is a vulnerability it is a security risk. So while AI can churn out code, it doesn't really secure that code. So if you're working with users, like actual like users, you have a database, right, that you need to protect. If you're using AI code, 50% of that could be very insecure. So just be aware of that as well. Another thing is AIs tend to hallucinate, and they are wrong a lot of the time. So that is another thing. It could spit out code that's wrong, uh, give you wrong answers, etc. Now, with all of this said, okay, and, and I know it sounds like I've kind of bashed AI. I, I love AI, okay? I am a big AI enthusiast, a big AI supporter. I think AI is one of the greatest inventions of our time, and it's going to keep growing. It, it'll probably keep growing, as I mentioned earlier, not to, much, not to make this like a sci-fi uh, kind of video, but... I do think AI will keep growing to the point it's going to be like Westworld 
and we will have fully conscious AI. If I'm going to make a prediction, like gun to my head prediction, yes, I do think AI will reach that level, you know, where, you know, an AI walks to work and sits down like a human and, and codes, right? Hundreds of years from now, that could actually be a thing. So, but any time in the near future over the next hundred years, I do not think AI is replacing software engineering. And if you, any of you in a computer science or software engineering degree who plan to become a software engineer, your job is safe. Your industry is safe. Everything's all right. There's nothing to worry about. This is just another tool for you. And if anything, it's going to make coding a little funner for you. It's going to make coding less stressful for you. Don't get me wrong. It's a very stressful industry. It's a very stressful job, but it's going to make things a little less tedious. So be lucky that you are living in this era. You know, software engineers 15 years ago and stuff, they, they did not have this luxury, okay? So the fact that you are getting this is amazing. And I'm a big supporter of AI. I think we're gonna see uh, walking robots in the next four to five, maybe six years. You know, walking robots, it's the future of DoorDash. You know, the future of uh, houses. I think robots, AI, are gonna be cleaning your house in the next five, six years probably going to cost a fortune uh, at least the first 10 years but those things are coming and I like I said whether it's, whether it's large language models like chat GPT and Claude and all that that help us code and do a lot of other great stuff or like walking robots I love AI so I'm a big AI enthusiast and I hope you guys love AI as well but overall this video was to address will AI replace software engineers my answer would be no. Could it happen hundreds of years in the future to the point it kind of eliminates software engineers? It could, but overall, this is in our lifetime, it's not going to happen, in my opinion. So, this is Alex. Thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate you. If any of you are aspiring engineers, uh, if you want to learn how to get a computer science or software engineering degree fast and get in the industry in one year, you can go to my channel and I have a lot of videos on how to graduate college fast. Basically, instead of four years on a bachelor's degree, you can get a bachelor's degree for one year. One year and basically 20% of the cost. So I teach a lot of people how to do that. So if you want to go to my channel and learn how to get a computer science degree in one year, I will show you how to do that. So check out my website, majormash.com. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Take care.